So, carb timing around workouts. Now, I've heard that you're a lot more insulin sensitive uh, after a workout. Um, mm -hmm. So, it's a more optimal time to consume carbs because you're obviously not as resistant as you would be prior to mm -hmm. whatever. Um, is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, when you look at how you get sugar actually into the cell, you have different forms of glucose transports, right? And when you look at skeletal muscle and you look at what's called GLUT4, glucose mm -hmm. transport 4, you have two different types. One of them is insulin dependent. So okay. you eat carbohydrates, the pancreas understands that sugar's coming in. Mm -hmm. In order to get that into the cell, pancreas secretes insulin. Insulin signals the cell to open up. Yep. Okay, in someone who's insulin resistant, that doesn't work okay. appropriately, right? But there's a safety mechanism, right? Where there's actually an, like an exercise dependent, it's a calcium dependent GLUT4. So when you train, you release calcium, calcium makes the muscles contract, yep. that calcium signals for those cells to open up and allow sugar in. Okay. So that's why they, there's that magic window post, post exercise, right? Yep. And you know, you'll see varying numbers. I, I like for people to wait, it depends again. Okay. Depend yeah. Most of our clients are fat loss and physique oriented. So typically we will have them wait about an hour post training yeah. to have carbohydrates. So they'll, they'll, after their training, they might have a small whey protein shake, which also increases insulin. Yes. That insulin will tell the cell to open up yeah. as well as the exercise. Yeah. Then an hour later, then we usually have a solid meal. And it's something I picked up from Mark Coles over at M10 and I've used it with a lot of success. Yeah. So. Okay, so how, how long is that, that calcium dependent glucose transport? How long is that overly active post workout? You're looking at about two hours. That okay. The data that I've seen is two hours yep. for the calcium dependent glute 4, and then, but you still have about 16 hours of insulin sensitivity. Okay, is there a difference uh, between allowing the sugar to get into the cell via the calcium channel or the insulin channel? No, just so one once of them. It's in, yeah, or? it's the same thing. Just yeah. one of them stimulated by insulin, one yeah. of them stimulated by acute exercise. Got it.